Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vijay Thapa and after a long time I am back with new tutorial. Uh, you can call this episode as a bonus tutorial episode on beginner's guide to database using MS SQL Server tutorial series. So in this episode I will show you how to backup and restore database in MS SQL Server. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. Sometimes you might need to take uh, backup of your database for security purpose as well as mobility. You might need to uh, move your database from one computer to another computer. So in order to backup our database, we need to start our SQL Server Management Studio. So I'll just open it by clicking on my SQL Server Management Studio icon pinned in my taskbar. So I'll just open it and then our SQL Server Management Studio will open and we need to connect our database engine for now I will connect my local database engine so it is already selected so just click on connect and from here in left side just expand the databases and select any database which you want to backup uh, and for this tutorial series I have created this sample database so I'll just select the sample database and in order to backup our database uh, just select the database and right click on it then go to tasks here and click on backup and after that you don't need to do anything don't you don't need to make any changes just click on ok so I'll just click on ok and the backup of database sample database completed successfully so we have successfully backed up our database so i'll just click on ok and let's see what data do we have in our database table so we have two datas two rows of data so this will backed up in our backup file so we have successfully backed up our database but where is our database file located so in order to find our backed up database file let's go to our uh, local disk c or the partition where our ms sql server was installed i'll just minimize it and i'll go to this pc and i'll go to local disk c because uh, my sql server was installed on local disk c so i'll just open it and go to program files and then look out for ms sql server so i'll just scroll and here is our microsoft sql server so just in go inside the uh, microsoft sql server folder so i'll just open it and you might see multiple folder inside the microsoft sql server folder so just select the last one you might not have this many but just select the last folder last folder so i'll just open the last folder and you will see a ms sql folder so just open this folder and you will find a backup folder so just open it so inside this backup folder we have our database backup file which is sample database.bak so our database file will always be in .bak file extension so this is our database backup file so this is guys we have successful backup our database for now i'll just uh, move this file from our backup folder to desktop so I'll just control X to cut and paste it in our database so this is it now let's open our SQL Server Management Studio and I'll just delete this database uh, to show you how you can restore the database so I'll just delete it just right click on it and click on delete and ok so we have successfully deleted our database now let's restore our database and in order to restore our database first of all we'll need to move our .bak file uh, from any other partitions or location to our backup folder and our backup file is in the desktop so i'll just copy it or cut it so i'll just click on right click and copy and i'll just go to my backup folder which is inside local disk c and program files and microsoft sql server and then last one and then ms sql and then backup so i'll just paste it here so control and v 
to paste it so we have our back uh, backup file in our backup folder so I'll just close it and open my SQL Server Management Studio and let's right click on databases folder and click on restore database now check this device and click on this three dot icon and click on add button and here we have our sample database so I'll just select our sample database dot BAK and click on OK now let's click on OK button so we have successfully restored our database let's uh, click on OK our progress is done and let's click on OK database sample database restore successfully so guys we have successfully restored our database so in this way you can uh, use someone else's project uh, and restore database in your database so thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible so see you soon bye bye